Let's do a crash course on free motion quilting. First off, you will need to purchase a darning foot of some sort. Number nine is a darning foot that is completely enclosed. Number 24, a free motion open toe foot has a cutout. So that's one of my favorites. I usually reach for this one when I go to do free motion quilting. And then we also need to lower the feed dogs down. So reach under, over here underneath where your foot control plugs in, push that box in all the way till it stays indented. Another accessory you might like to have is a straight stitch throat plate. See how that hole is only in the center? That needle's gonna be stabilized and give you a little bit more perfect stitch as you're moving your fabric side to side. So I recommend one of these as well. So when you start off to stitch, make sure you're just on a straight stitch, doesn't matter what the length is. Lower your presser foot down. And the first thing you wanna do is bring up the bobbin thread. You can touch the needle down button two times and then pull up. I've got kind of a cream thread in it, in the bobbin right now, so we'll pull that up to the top. And then move yourself back over where you took that first stitch. Now what you wanna do is take some small stitches to kind of be a locking stitch in that area, just moving a little bit to one side in the direction you're gonna go. And now you can find yourself a happy medium from speed of your machine that you step on the foot control to the speed your hands move. Now sometimes I like to use the speed control and actually slow it down. And so maybe like half or three quarter speed is really nice because then you can almost have like a cruise control. So here's how it's gonna look. You don't wanna go too slow, otherwise your stitches will get too, um, too small and you don't wanna go too fast because then, well, you get some other options with longer stitches. So that's where you're gonna kinda have to practice and find where you can get that stitch to really look good as you're stitching. Now to end it, just go ahead and take a few stitches in that last little place, bring your needle up, and then come on out and cut your thread really, really close. Now I mentioned we had different threads in our needle as we do in the bobbin, so let's take a look. So I see a little bit of blue on the back side, so what I'm gonna do is tighten up my top tension just a little bit. I have a lighter weight thread back here, so it's pull, it is actually pulling to the back side. So I'm gonna actually pull that up, and that will help that disappear, and yet not have it pull up too tight so it shows on the top side. So a little free motion quilting, great on the Berninas. And don't forget to check out the video. We're gonna show you the optional Bernina stitch regulator that you can get for this machine, which will make this even easier.